looks like it was filmed with a rotten potato. This is supposed to be the International Space Station doing a flyby yesterday. Filming the shadow of the eclipse. And like I said, it looks like it was filmed with a rotten potato. Look. Oh, we are looking, old boy, and what we see is indeed beautiful. G'day, everybody. Where's Wally here? Let's check out Adam as he tries desperately to cope with the high-def video footage from the International Space Station looking at an eclipse. To think that reality is exactly the opposite to what can be tested and verified by all is insane. And yet that is what the general public believe based on imagery. Crazy. And then we look at what should have been an incredible historical event captured in HD from NASA. It's just tosh as if it was filmed with an old potato. You just didn't research well enough. You settled on an early version, didn't you, Adam? Dear, oh dear, when will you learn? Now, let me help you with a better HD version and you can go and say sorry to your subscribers for misleading them yet again. During the eclipse, the crew on board the International Space Station were also able to witness the eclipse and even capture imagery. To say that they were somewhat awestruck, well, take a listen. Oh, Adam D. Boy. Sorry, guys. I, I, I feel sorry for you. I got nothing. You know how you just love to use the lack of reaction by the seasonal professional astronauts as some sort of evidence of fakery? Well, have a listen and have a look and get yourself a tissue. You might just need it for those fluff tears of yours. I don't even know what to do. Wow, look at that. Holy cow. You guys, get over here. Come in. Awesome. Can you wow, see it? this is... Can you see it, oh, Unbelievable. That is what I've always wanted to see right there. You can see the umbra or the moon's shadow passing over Earth as the space station orbited 260 miles above the northeastern coast of the United States and portions of the Canadian provinces of Quebec and New Brunswick. Well, Adam does his usual bleating that NASA should have done this or that. Well, I did see an even more spectacular video by SpaceX, you know, the not NASA people. I will let that play while Adam does his usual whinging and whining. Now we've had all these missions recently supposedly going to the moon. Wouldn't this have been incredible to capture this event from the moon showing the full Earth with the shadow going across the Earth? Filming that in HD, wouldn't that have been incredible? NASA planned it so much that their space station did a flyby. But strangely enough, none of their cameras worked properly. We get this blurry rubbish. Oh, that's St. Lawrence River ish? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, St. Lawrence Seaway, Anacostia Island. We're up in the Maritimes, aren't we? Wow! Just look at the, uh, the penumbra on the river there. And then into the blackness. Hot diggity dog. This isn't scientific. This isn't beneficial to anyone. This is nonsense. This is mockery. The fact it's come out in such bad quality footage. The fact NASA had planned this for weeks so their space station would do a flyby. Yet they didn't plan to get all their cameras synced up and made sure they were all proper, ready to capture this event in HD. It's just a charade. I've been saying it for years. A silly pantomime that's lapped up by kids and naive and the gullible. Biggest pantomime. NASA recently announced the next rotational Soyuz crew to fly to the International Space Station this fall. That's not... Oh, say it isn't so. Don, are you getting to go to the ISS for a fourth time? Oh, that's not fair. I judge a man by his body. Oh, the flurfs are really going to love to hate you for this one, mate. NASA astronaut Don Pettit will launch on the Roscosmos Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft in September alongside Roscosmos cosmonauts Alexei Ovchinin and Yvonne Wagner. This will be Pettit's fourth mission to the space station to conduct scientific investigations and technology demonstrations. 
He served as a science officer for Expedition 6 in 2003, operated the robotic arm for STS-126 Space Shuttle Endeavor in 2008, and served as a flight engineer for Expeditions 30 and 31 in 2012. Pettit has logged 370 days in space and conducted two spacewalks, totaling 13 hours and 17 minutes. Oh, and I can't wait for Don and his camera genius to be back at the cupola windows once more. Thanks, guys.